Late one afternoon, as he rolled into the big station, Gordon found the fat controller waiting for him. You've been working very hard with the Express recently. The controller smiled, but I understand how tiring it can be for you. Would you like to have a few days doing some more peaceful work? Yes, please, sir, replied Gordon thankfully. He was very relieved. The recent holiday season had kept him very busy. Excellent. Starting tomorrow, James will cover for you on the Express and you can pull some local trains. The fat controller took his hat and walked away. Gordon smiled happily before getting ready for his last train of the day. Next morning, Gordon woke up to his fireman arriving to start the day. Morning, lads, said his fireman. Alan's taken ill, I'm afraid, so we'll be working with a relief driver for a while. What a shame, sighed Gordon. I do hope he recovers soon. The fireman agreed. He began to ready Gordon for the coming day's work as they waited for the relief to arrive. When the relief finally arrived, it was almost time to leave. You're late, mate, said the fireman. You've got to be on time. The relief just scoffed as he lit a cigarette. He was an old engine driver who thought he knew everything. He didn't like being spoken down to. I know how to do my job, thank you. He snapped. Without another word, he climbed into the cab. The fireman quietly followed and Gordon soon jerked out of the sheds towards the station. He backed onto the coaches with a bump. Oh, 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 cried the coaches. Be careful, grumbled Gordon. I don't take orders from my engines either, grunted the relief. I'm the driver here, not either of you. Shut up and know your place. The guard's whistle blew, and the train started away, jerking roughly into motion again. Gordon and his firemen knew the peaceful few days of work they were looking forward to were going to be anything but peaceful. For the rest of the day, the relief continued to be a nuisance. He would control Gordon recklessly, snap at the fireman for any odd reason, and in Gordon's opinion, seemed more interested in his cigarettes than the engine he was driving. It all came to a head later that afternoon. As they arrived at the junction, the driver drew the train to an abrupt halt, just avoiding having the first coach overshoot the platform. Thomas, who was waiting with his coaches, burst out laughing. Dear, oh dear, Gordon, forget to stop. You must be getting old. He puffed away laughing, leaving Gordon fuming. He had had enough. For goodness sake, pay attention to what you're doing. He yelled at the relief. You'll cause an accident if you don't. The relief went red in the face. Don't you dare talk to me like that. The fireman tried to intervene, but thankfully the guard's whistle blew. The train drew jerkily out of the station. Both Gordon and the relief were left brooding in silence. They soon neared the big station. Gordon was thankful his day's work was nearly over. But as he drew closer to the station, he realized he wasn't slowing down. The relief was so busy complaining to himself, he wasn't paying attention to where they were. Good glory! Stop! Stop! cried Gordon in alarm. The relief suddenly realized where they were. He threw the brakes on hard, but it was too late. Gordon whistled frantically to clear the platform before he shut his eyes. He crashed into the buffers at the end of the platform before rolling up onto the platform, his front end crashing into the station's tobacco kiosk. Luckily, Gordon's warning had worked. Everyone had run clear of the crash, and none of his passengers had been injured. For Gordon felt very uncomfortable, though. Once the mess had been sorted, Gordon was taken straight to the works. The fat controller came to see him that evening. I'm sorry, sir, started Gordon, but the fat controller held up his hand. Don't worry, Gordon. I know it wasn't your fault. Your fireman has filled me in all about this relief you had. You'll be glad to know he has already put in his resignation. Gordon was glad. I'm sorry your days of rest turned out this way. The fat controller continued, but once you are mended, I take it you would like to return to the express. Yes, please, sir, said Gordon. And so it was arranged. Once he returned, Gordon was reunited with both the express and his driver, much to his relief.